Question 1. Figure 1 shows how the national grid connects a power station to consumers. Here's the power station and the transformer. The transformer here will step up the voltage so that higher voltage can be transported and less current is being carried because if the current is high then the heat loss will cause the power to be lost. In order to reduce power loss we know the equation for power is voltage times current. So if we increase the voltage for the same amount of power the current has to decrease. So now we're going to use this to answer the next question. But we call the transformer here a step step up transformer because we are stepping up the voltage. We're increasing the voltage. So that's why it's called step up transformer. This we call this is called step down transformer because we're decreasing the voltage. And now we can complete the sentence here. The sentence here states that for transformer X causes the potential difference to so here potential difference will increase so we would write increase and the next question is here the transformer causes a current to well if the potential difference increases that one this is the power the current will decrease for the same amount of power so therefore we will write decrease for question 1.2 we need to take which is the equation that links power, resistance and current. Well we know that uh, power is current times voltage and we know that voltage is equal to current times resistor from Ohm's law and if we replace the voltage into there we can write power to be current times the current times resistance and that would be current squared times the resistance. So which one shall we select? Here is the right answer and so we can tick that box. Question 1.3. A transmission cable has a power loss of 160 times 10 to power 9 watts. The current in the cable is 2000 amps. Calculate the resistance of the cable. We can say we know the power which is 1.6 times 10 to power 9 watts and the current is 2000 amps and we can use the formula P equals I squared R where we can make R the subject so that would be P over I squared and so we can populate that with 1.6 times 10 to power 9 over 2000 all squared and if we plug that into the calculator we should get 400 ohms so that would be the resistance question 1.4 we need to write down the equation which links efficiency total energy input and useful energy output. So we know that the efficiency will be equal to useful energy output over total energy input. Question 1.5. The total energy input to the national grid from one power station is 34.2 gigajoules. The national grid has an efficiency of 0 0.992. Calculate the useful energy output from this power station to consumers in gigajoule. Well, we can then write the efficiency to be equal to the useful energy output over total energy input. So we can say the useful energy output will be equal to the efficiency times the total energy input. So we know the efficiency is 0 0.992 times the total energy input is 34.2 gigajoules. But we can leave that as in gigajoule because uh, we don't need to change that unit. If we calculate that with a calculator, we get 33.9 gigajoules. And so this will be 33. 
point nine.